talking about Rayford Johnson, not only an amazing athlete, but certainly a humanitarian. And uh, he also talked about his contributions to Southern California over the decades. That is for sure a man who was also a giant of a man and also a big part of political history here in Los Angeles as well. Of course, he was there the night that Robert Kennedy was shot and killed in the Ambassador Hotel. Uh, he died today. He was 86 years old. NBC4's Lolita Lopez, a former collegiate uh, athlete in track and field herself, considered Rafer Johnson one of her heroes. And today she spoke with those who knew Rafer well about his graciousness, his humility, and his service. The lighting of the Olympic flame at the Los Angeles Summer Games in 1984, a celebration for the entire city. Olympic gold medalist Rayford Johnson chosen for the honor. It was a surprise to him, and that's the way we wanted it. If he wanted to try and talk, somebody else should get to do it. Peter Ubroth was the CEO of the 84 Olympics and Johnson's lifelong friend. Yeah, you're going to be running it, and you're going on those last steps. And he is having a problem with an injury. And he said, I'll make it. And once at the top, the significance was clear. He represented what Los Angeles is and what Los Angeles was. Johnson's life of giving comes from his own acknowledgement of the support he received, as he told me in an interview in 2012. As a young man, he credited his coaches with helping him earn two Olympic medals, a silver in 1956 in the decathlon and gold in Rome four years later. At 25, the then greatest athlete in the world transitioned away from track. The UCLA graduate who served as student body president, acted in movies, was drafted by the LA Rams. How many more you're gonna jump, bro. And spent time on this station as a sports anchor. He also worked on Robert Kennedy's presidential campaign. Johnson helped disarm the senator's killer minutes after Kennedy's speech at the Ambassador Hotel in LA in 1968. Just to get to know that man and his family, uh, again, is something I will never forget. Johnson was instrumental in launching California's Special Olympics and was part of the cause for the rest of his life. And his primary focus, his loving family. They came first. He told us in our interview that he kept his prized possessions hidden from view in lieu of his children's awards. Much of these treasures now part of an exhibition at the LA 84 Foundation created last year to remember his life of service and impact, a legacy that has endured for decades. And if they could actually go and see a picture or a video or touch his medal, uh, they feel like they're in the game. What can we take from Rafer's life to help ours and lead us forward? I think that the, if, if, if it's going to happen and you've got to make it better all the time, uh, let's not anybody get too crazy about what the negatives are. Let's just work on the positives. Rafer Johnson passed away in Sherman Oaks, surrounded by his family. He was 86 years old. Lolita Lopez, NBC4 News.